Well, vertigo is actually typically described as a hallucination of movement. As the patient feels that they are moving or the environment is moving in a circular manner, spinning around, and it's often associated with the uncomfortable sensation of nausea, and very often the patients also have vomiting. Now, in the ear, it can be caused by a variety of causes. Uh, usually, the basic principle to understand about the ear and balance is that both ears actually have 50% function. And when one ear is affected, that function drops, and but the other side still remains at 50%. So because of that, there is a sensation of imbalance. If we treat according to the cause, uh, as far as the ear is concerned, most of the causes of vertigo in the ear are related to uh, problems with the nerve of balance and also problems with the fluid within the inner ear itself. The inner ear has fluid which is normal and usually there's two kinds of fluid. They are separate and they are equal in amount. Uh, when one of these fluids is excessive or it mixes with the other type of fluid then you get certain kinds of vertigo so the process of actually treating begins by trying to identify the cause of the vertigo so this is done by actually having a long discussion with the patient uh, finding out their symptoms and the duration of the symptoms and certain typical features of their symptoms following which we do in my case, I do about a 15-step clinical examination to try to determine exactly what the cause of the vertigo is. We also can send them for hearing tests and in some cases, we may send them for an MRI to examine the inner ear as well as the auditory and nerve of balance. Following that, we can come to a diagnosis.